Good morning, friends. It is Monday morning. I literally got up just <laughs> like 10 minutes ago, ran out the door to go get my Saycon Fresh order that was just down the street. I went to go pick it up. So I have a few orders coming in um, and I picked up today my boneless pork tenderloins. So yum. So I, they're frozen and I need to get them in the freezer, but I want to take one out to put in the crock pot for dinner tonight. So Zaycon is a service where I'll put a link below where you can get fresh meat and fish delivered um, to a certain area in your town and you it's fresh they really pick good quality farmers and um, you get a really good deal for the money and so we're loving everything so far we're trying from Zaycon this is our first order of the pork tenderloins yeah, this is the tenderloins? yeah so let's open up I got two boxes let's see um, Each box is 15 pounds, so let's open them up and, and see what this looks like. Okay, so here's what they look like. They look so good. They're great. Check this out. So I'm going to take one out for dinner tonight. Um, wow, that is a big one. They're all good sizes. Let's do this one for dinner tonight. And all right, I'm going to get both these boxes of tenderloins in the freezer and we're set. And what I do with this meat is just roll it into meal planning. That way nothing goes bad, nothing goes too long in the freezer. Um, so we just meal plan it in. So I'm excited to try theirs. All right, I'm going to get this in the freezer. Okay, they actually fit in the freezer. I have some other things coming, so we'll have to work it. But this is our big deep freezer. We have, we go in on a cow with our family, so we have beef, we've got ground beef and steaks and roasts and beef stew meat, we have a lot in here. Um, candy from Halloween, um, we always buy candy when it goes on sale after Halloween and put it in our freezer. We use a lot of it for birthdays and um, when we go to church and do our classes with the kids, it's a good little motivator boost for the kids, so we like to have that on hand. Um, yeah, so I only have three freezer meals left. Minestrone, chicken pesto, and a Salisbury steak. So I need to do some freezer meals here soon. So, but here's our freezer. We have salmon here from Zaycon. So yeah, um, and we have shrimp from Zaycon. We're almost done. I've got another order on its way. Chicken from Zaycon. Lots of chicken. Uh, I've got chicken here, chicken here. I have chicken in this freezer. Um, but yeah, we roll this all into our meal planning, so that will work right there good, so. What? So weird! What so is it? It's slime! It's slime? It's so weird! Did Sissy make slime at Oma's last night? Yeah. Oh. What did you use to make it? Borax, glue, water, and shaving cream. Stinks. It smells like Uncle Bucky's shaving cream. <laughs> That's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> so Jonah and I got done at the DI. We went to DI, doctor's appointments, Costco. I'm still bringing in the Costco stuff. But I got this incredible solid <laughs> shelf. It's cream for 20 bucks, you guys. 20 bucks. It's going to go in my bedroom. I'll, again, show it to you when um, it's all up. Okay, it is almost 2.30. Now that I'm home, I'm gonna start this pork tenderloin. It'll cook for about four hours. It looks so good, you guys. I'm excited to try it. So, um, I have a recipe, and I will leave a link below, uh, but I am watching my video on how to make it. <laughs> it's just easier this way. So I, I already know the ingredients, I just don't remember how much. So I am gonna get everything in here and start dinner. Okay, it is 2.30. This will be done at 6.30. Perfect time for dinner. Yum. All right, we're going to have this with mashed potatoes and uh, stir-fried veggies, so I'll show you that when it's done. All right, guys. Hello. <laughs> it has been a crazy morning. Like I said, you saw me get up with Zaycon. Right after that, I took Jonah to the ortho to check his retainer, see how everything is going. 
he doesn't have to go back in for another five months uh, and then after that I went and gave blood see that mark right there oh uh, so that is the start of my testing with my doctor if you want to see what I was talking about before I'll leave the video the link so he is going to test my blood and see what's going on with all the symptoms and things that are going on with me tomorrow I start my spit test and urine test to see what else is going on so I start that tomorrow and then I mail it out and then in about two and a half weeks when I have my other appointment they'll have all the answers and the doctor will have a plan for me so hopefully I can get things fixed and um, and balanced in my body that I can like at least tame the anxiety I never had anxiety before like anxiety like creeped its head about three and a half years ago for me so I'm hoping that maybe I can um, either get rid of it or be able to bring it down with whatever my body is doing so I'm happy about that he said he'll ha it'll help me be able to focus with my ADHD what treatments and things so we'll see and I'm excited and of course I'm going to keep you taking of course I'm going to keep taking you guys along with me so okay I am home for my trip I went to Las uh, Vegas this weekend in St. George Utah that's southern Utah we stayed at my friend's house down there um and we went to Vegas to a spa. It was so good. It was such a great weekend. We went shopping. We hit the DIs, which are Desert Industry, which is a um, thrift store um, ran by our church. And we found some really good treasures. And we went to Ross, um, found some goodies there. Um, this shirt here, this flowy thing I got there. Um, it was great. It was lots of shopping and girl time and it was fun like I found some really fun shirts like I said at Ross and one was a funny shirt that said mom to be on it and I took the picture and sent it to Derek you know because we have the kids have been wanting me to have a baby for a long time now and I am done I am not doing the baby thing like anymore mama is done and it's an ongoing joke with my family it's an ongoing joke here I get asked once a month if I'm pregnant because of my belly how I gain weight and the doctor said he's going to cure the pregnant belly for me so I'm so excited um, and so I posted it on my Instagram I should have put a title on it um, saying haha like won't the kids love this um, because a lot of you saw the picture on Instagram and understood where I was coming from with this picture and I would have posted it anyway on April Fool's Day because that's when I saw it so well the day before so I would have posted it anyway and you know I can't control how people are gonna feel and get offended I took the picture down because it just like created this whirlwind I even put it on Facebook because I know a lot of you don't have Instagram so I wanted you to see this picture and I didn't put it up there to make people feel bad about any situation that they're in um, going through with infertility or loss of a child I have gone through years of infertility years and um, so I know what that's like and I know the feelings I have friends who have lost children I have family members that have had many miscarriages and I was not I did not put it up there to hurt anybody do I apologize for posting the picture? No, absolutely not. The reason why I took it down was because of the conversations in the picture were getting heated and people were getting upset and friends were getting upset and I was like, oh my gosh, no. I didn't realize after, on, at least on Instagram, I could disable the comments. I just learned that. So if there's a picture you want to put on Instagram but don't want everyone like, bah, 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 you can turn off the comments. So. My intention with that picture was to not make feel in anyone bad. If you got offended, you know, sorry, but I, I don't feel bad about posting the picture. It wasn't my intent to hurt. But man, if I had to worry about everything that I put out that I could offend somebody, I might as well just live in my house and not leave and not get on the internet, not do anything. Because no matter what we do, we're going to offend somebody. Someone's going to get offended about something. and. Seriously, if I had to worry about that every day, I, my gosh, just crawl in a hole, you know. But, um, yeah, so, what I do feel bad about and I'm sorry about are my friends that got hurt from other people's comments. That I feel sorry about, and my heart goes out to them. But other than that, I don't feel bad about posting the picture. It was funny, if you follow the vlogs, you understand why I posted the picture and how 
um, the kids have been dying for me to get pregnant and it's been a conversation on the vlogs. Okay, we're starting off on our girls weekend. We've been driving for about how long? <laughs> Hour and an hour. hour. An hour and a half. And we stopped in Beaver, Utah. And I do not know that there is like a cheese factory here. <laughs> and I'm going to have my first squeaky cheese. Take a look at that. Finish. What is a squeaky cheese? What? Yeah, what is cheese curd? It's cheese we got, curd. We got Denise. Right? We got a Becky. Becky. A Destiny. Oh, hi. And a Noel. Hello. And so Hello. Destiny's going to introduce me to oh, squeaky cheese. So this cheese. is a cheese curd, and it's delicious. It makes like squeaky noise on your teeth. <gasps> is that like chalk on a chalk? No, 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 no. no. no, no. It's okay, good. It's, and it's a can, delightful squeak. You can like <laughs> savor it in your mouth, and it's just super it's yum. Just so here, here we go, Kim. Tiny little squeak. Kimmy. <laughs> it's just a little mouth. Mm. Look at cute mouth. Oh, squeak. Squeak, squeak. Like a mouse running around in your mouth. Oh, will it work with my braces? With braces, it. I think so. Oh, You'll have to try it when you get them off too. <laughs> Is this an older bag? Three days. Yeah, three, three days old. aged. You can get some fresh ones. I don't know if it's working because of my braces. I don't know if I. It's yummy. I like it. It's yummy. Mm -hmm. I like but we got one. treats to the road. Mm -hmm. Chex mix. Mm -hmm. Oh, and. Something I love these Those little the general stores because you always find treasures. Good, I found a treasure old fashioned <laughs> like sweet potato food. butter. <laughs> Never had sweet this potato butter. Good. If you have, what do you eat it. it with? Because this is going to be interesting <laughs> for sure. Squeak. <laughs> you guys said squeaking? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Yeah, it was Denise's got a squeaker. Squeak. You got a squeaker? Mm -hmm. See, maybe it's my braces. You can even peel it, you know, mm -hmm. they've got little sections and you can just eat it like a little banana. <laughs> Okay, that makes more bananas. sense. You know what this reminds me of? Bananas. <laughs> That's so crazy. So, you know what? <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's yellow. It's yellow. <laughs> or semi-orange. But whatever. <laughs> So now we're getting man, uh, pedicures. I haven't had a pedicure. I don't think. I don't even think I got one last summer. That's how lazy I was. Oh. Anyone have to pee now? I was, I was wondering. I said. Yeah, I was debating, and then my feet hit the water. I'm like, yeah, I can go pee. Oh, this just feels good. I'm excited. Look at this color. It's like a burgundy, sparkly color. Ooh. You can see how red my feet are. That's just right. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm red as a lobster, then it's perfect. So. See that? Mm. <laughs> oh, yes, Destiny. They got it right. If you're, oh, yes, they got it perfect. Okay. This chair is doing a good job. Pouncing no, on my back. back. Uh, 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 this is like good. Uh, that's beating me up. At one point, it pushes you. We were talking about how it pushes you, and you feel like it's just gonna push you across the room. I just push back. Hold on. Like you're having labor. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Get in there deeper. Feels good. Time to get our pedicure on. Day one, we're in St. George, Utah, Southern Utah. We found a hibachi grill in St. George, and we love eating at hibachi. Love it. So, oh yeah, good times. Good. We love. <laughs> and I think I have a video of her where the shrimp went down your shirt one time. So yeah, I want, it's on one of the 
vlog. We don't want a repeat of that one. No. Well, no. well yeah, no. I came prepared. You did. Yeah, I brought my own uh, oh, egg <laughs> apron. <laughs> what is that called? Who's your ice uh, Bib? Oh, it's my own a bib. Bib. <laughs> bib. <laughs> I didn't bring no rib. That's like sucky bus. Uh, I know. Why do I talk? It always comes out wrong. <laughs> Good morning. Like, I'm starting my morning off with my, more um, popular. my drug of choice, mm -hmm. Sonic. We all look like this. No makeup. We're going to the spa. <laughs> <laughs> going to oh, Vegas to get our spa on. We all look like <laughs> naked mole rats We right do. <laughs> you look great. That's because half my face is hidden with my bangs. So, I mean, that's the trick. I need bangs. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> So we got our drugs, <laughs> we got our little boost of energy, and we're gonna go get our spa on.
day. Here's dinner sauteed squash, zucchini, and mushrooms, mashed potatoes, and the pork tenderloin. How is it, Derek, the Zacon pork? I haven't tried it yet. It's good. Mm. I like it. So tender. Oh, no, good. Yum. Next time, I'm going to try it in the Instapot, and I'll film it for you guys. Well, that is dinner tonight. Jonah's getting a haircut tomorrow. So is Shaylee. Shaylee's getting her hair cut off short. Look at that. Would you look at that? Well, guys, we had a good dinner. As you could tell, all my makeup's gone because these two decide to make mommy cry. <laughs> we were talking about the future and Callie graduating and if we move. We've been talking about moving out of state. I would be staying in And state. what we'd be doing with Callie, or she'd stay with Oma and Opa. We're just t sitting here talking about the future and I just started bawling because I can't handle the thought of not having any of my babies with me. And they continue to make me cry. Callie's like, what if, <laughs> what if? And then Jonah chimed in and then I was like, ah, I can't take this. So look at all my makeup's gone, I've been crying. So it was a fun conversation. Huh. <laughs> what did you say? He's like, my hair though. <laughs> so, all right guys, we are gonna say goodbye. Um, goodbye. Kids don't, the kids don't have school, it's spring break. Yeah, spring break. Party animals. Friends. You yeah, getting your hair cut off tomorrow? Tomorrow. Getting chopped. Tomorrow. Almost chopped. Chopped, 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 chopped. So, so I'm happy to be home. Mm -hmm. Girls weekend was fun, but this is much better being with family. Especially if they want to leave for the baba. Why do you I'll be gone next year. Okay, let's not start. I'm gonna start crying again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Derek's laughing at me. Alright, thanks for joining me today when we will see you tomorrow. 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 Doodles. Oh, He's feeling much better, by the way. Thanks for all your well wishes. Tell them thank you. I'm trying to say thank you. Yeah, you eat this down now. <laughs> all right, thanks for joining us. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Your bra strap, Sean. It's not my bra strap. Your bra hangy thingy. It's not a bra hangy thingy. Your plastic thingy for your dress. There you go. Ooh. And then wink it all away. Really? Yeah, give a wink. Give a wink. Give you a little. Give a little wink. Give a wink. Just look at the camera and wink. Shaylee and Boston, come here. Do you even know how to wink? That's awkward. My <laughs> Bye, guys.